So what is a distance field? Well, a distance field is exactly what the name suggests. It's a field or a picture or an area where the image is rendered by, um, let's say, calculating the distance between multiple points in your image or your picture and one single point or the anchor point like this. And the calculating comes in the form of an algorithm. We just put some more points here. And so because all of these points obey the same algorithm and their distance between themselves and this anchor point are fixed, it creates the uh, it creates numerical uniformity or evenness or visually, which is what we're concerned about. It creates a, a gradient effect or smoothing of one color into another. So let's just go through an arbitrary example of this right here, and then we'll uh, take a look at some code. So let's just say we had a single anchor point. Let's just say it was at the zero mark like this, zero, zero. Now, arbitrary number is not exact, but what's the distance between this anchor point and this guy right here? Let's just say it's 0 0.5. So this guy looks like a 0 0.6. Let's say this guy looks like a 0 0.5. This guy looks like a 0 0.8. Let's say this guy right here is a 1.0. That looks like a 0 0.7. That looks like a 1.0. That looks like another one, let's say 0 0.9. You get the idea. Let's say it's 1.0, 0 0.9. So all we're doing is we're calculating the distance between all these points and the center point right here. Now, if we take all of these distances, these numbers, and we relate them to colors, where 0 is black, 0, 0.0 is black, 1.0 is 1. Numerically, or excuse me, visually, what would this look like? Well, 0 0.5 is in between black and white, so that'd be like a gray color here. This 1.0 would be a full white. The 0 point, let me just put a point right here. Point right here. Yeah, that's like a 0 0.2. That 0 0.2 would be more black than white, so that guy would show up somewhere around here. So this visually, what we'd see is in the center, we have all this black. And as we move towards the outer edges, we get closer to 1, which is white, so we get a, a white color on the edge. Let's see what that looks like in some actual code. All right, so that's this is an example of, I think, four different A, B, C, D, four different distance fields. Three of these do the exact same thing. I'm not going to go too in-depth into these algorithms. I'm going to go in-depth in later videos using distance fields to draw certain shapes. But just understand this is what a distance field looks like. All of these colors relate to numbers, and we get those numbers based on the distance from the pixel, all the pixels here, relative to the center pixel right here. That's why we get the bleeding effect of black in the center, and more and more as we go out, further out, more and more white. Now, we can use distance fields to do different things. One is to create the illusion of depth, and so things closer to us would be taking up less light or be blocking more light so they're darker. And as we, as that thing moves away from us, or maybe it's like a cone shape, so it slants away from us, we get more and more white color. We can reverse the black and the white. This creates the illusion of light like this. We can create flares or stars like this. And then we can also, instead of just having white, black, we can add uh, movement as well as different colors and create the illusion of like a neon fly, flying uh, light. So that's all a distance field is. It's a field created, or an image, or a canvas created by calculating the distance from multiple points in your, multiple pixels if you want to say, multiple pixels in your canvas relative to one center pixel. And the pixel doesn't have to be in the center. The center could be over here or over here. It doesn't matter. They just all obey a single algorithm. Their distances are literally fixed, and so that creates a uh, a numerical uniformity or gradient effect. Anyways, that's going to be the video. I'm going to do some future videos on using distance fields to create pictures, but that's for another time. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next one.